than our main villains. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. You can't make anything that we we can't forget about after the movie. I get you. You know what I mean? Right. Because because like you think about it, and they all those solo films really don't have villains that you're like, oh, those villains are pretty cool. Yeah. Unless they want the you know unless it's part of the agenda. Like with Civil War, they're like, okay, you can make it cool. You know, or, or I mean, Winter Soldier, right? They're like, make Winter Soldier cool because it directly leads into like you know, the Civil War movie, right? Right. That's gonna happen after that. I don't know if they planned it out that much, but you know what I mean. Yeah, like, yeah. Like Bucky was a big deal from the first Captain America movie. And they well, they pl- apparently planned out his thing from the get go. Sebastian yeah, Sand said that that the minute he got on, they were like, "This is where we're gonna go with your character," and he was like, "Whoa," which is kind of crazy. Yeah. So that you know. I yeah. feel like that's what they do. They're like, okay, you're making, you know, Thor 2. You can't make anything interesting. Right, right. Oh, with that, man, they're like, you you know, you have a generic evil scientist that's going to be after you. And Edgar Wright was probably like, no, no. <laughs> you wanted something yeah, I want, new. I want uh, Simon Pegg to be the villain. Which I would have loved Simon Pegg as the villain. Yeah. That would have been awesome. But Sam Raimi's already been through the ropes, so he, like, knows yeah, yeah, when yeah, to fold him. Knows when to fold him. I know it's when to watch the movies and <laughs> knows when to not. A plus. What's the map today, Angel? Hello? Yeah? What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what was going on? Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> what, what was that? You you said hello and then you just went silent. I thought I was talking to a phone for some reason. What? <laughs> I talk a lot on the phone now. Oh. <laughs> so I put on the mic and I immediately <laughs> instinctively just said hello? <laughs> That's scary. I know. Uh, I'm probably going to end up getting a Bluetooth like a douchebag. No, 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 no. Don't do that thing where I say something and someone thinks I'm talking to them. and they just... <laughs> <laughs> You're going to just constantly have a beeper on you? Ugh. <laughs> you have those little blue, blue, Bluetooth like earpiece. To be fair, that's when you know you've made it big in Hollywood is whenever you got a beeper. Or, I mean, <laughs> whenever you got a Bluetooth, uh, a Bluetooth that's like glued to your ear constantly. Would you call it a beeper? I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking of beepers right now. You're from, a, what, the 80s? <laughs> the 80s. Beepers of the future, man. Helga's dad had a beeper company. <laughs> <laughs> That's the stupidest. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, he did, too. He did, yeah. What was his name? Bob's Beeper. Emporium. Bob's Beepers. Hey, I'm Bob's Beepers. <laughs> He's like, Bob. I'm Bob, and these are my beepers. That's that's what he sounded like he in sounded, the show. He did. kind of did sound like... He sounded like... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, he sounded weird. He had a good voice. <laughs> I really liked Bob. everyone in Hey Arnold was Whoa. really cool. God, what a show. Did yeah, you watch the movie? Uh, the conclusion? The one with the tomato war? No, the movie where he finds his parents. Spoiler alert. Oh, the jungle film. Yeah. The <laughs> You mean Hey Arnold Green Inferno? <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh, yeah, him in the school, they all get surrounded. Oh, they get surrounded with cannibals. No, no. And then Gerald's <laughs> pooping in the cage. <laughs> Because of stress. <laughs> and then uh, that weird kid. He's like, Arnold, they're going to kill us, Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to eat us. Oh, well, my God. Fluffy Slippers is, is, gonna, is not here to save us this time. <laughs> he was like a Arnold, friend. Right? I think we're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Arnold. <laughs> they impale Haga on the pike. <laughs> Helga, I mean. Yeah, Helga's like head the skewer. No, it's it's like can that ironic. Be the, can that be the thumbnail for this? It just says Arnold Green Inferno. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, we got to play Shangri-La. Uh, if we want to make oh, back to you're topic. right. Or oh. a jungle theme one. Well, then we'll play Shangri La after the classic Shangri La. I got to be honest, though, it's not my favorite, Matt, but you already know this. That's more just for the audience. <laughs> yeah, the audience. Hey, hey, babies, I don't uh, <laughs> I don't like Shangri La, ladies. Shangri-La. Hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your phone number. If you don't like Shangri La, too. Actually, if you guys don't like Shangri La, like and subscribe, hit that bell icon, notifies. When we upload again, it fit. It fit like back in the day, cause back then it was all about like high rounds, and you know, like you know what I mean, trying yeah. to like survive. You saying that Shangri La fit into that? Yeah, cause you know, like uh, now now they're all about like like Easter eggs and yeah yeah and uh, and you know the, the well that big, one had the a big really cheese the big puzzle the big cheese that one had a really complicated Easter egg though at the it time. It was the first. No, it's Ascension was, but that one was the most complicated one. Yeah. 
I, I remember they were like, if you do this, then the monkeys and the pyramid. And I was and like, the eclipse. And the, <laughs> you got to turn the, the sun get, around. <laughs> get the eclipse and then you get the little, the it's, little red. It's based off of your own astral symbol. The game's like got a time cycle on it and you got to like. <laughs> Take out the disc and like spit on it and then like put it back in. You gotta do yeah. Put your DNA on the disc. Put it back it, in. It actually it makes can a homunculus. Read your DNA. <laughs> makes a little homunculus of yourself. <laughs> oh god. You gotta raise it. <laughs> you just spit inside an egg and just let it incubate for a month and you get a little homunculus, <laughs> just, you play the game with him. That'd be a big prank. <laughs> That's the biggest Easter egg out there. Yeah, this someone's like, is it still going? The like, Easter yeah, my homunculus is like three. <laughs> you you got those it's three years old. Those uh, what are they like? The zombie community guys, and they're like, all right, oh. guys, in order in order to get this Easter egg, I gotta yeah, make yeah. a homunculi right in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm three yeah. weeks into it, and uh, <laughs> I, I gotta be honest, this one eye is freaking me out. It just spit at me yesterday, so <laughs> it's well He's on got its this way. Weird tube tongue thing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I believe they're called uh, pistons. What are they called? Pistons? What? What are they called? Like what butterflies have, where it's like that little straw thing they eat with. Oh, I have no idea. It's not a piston. It is a piston. I had no idea what the anatomy of a butterfly is. You had no idea? No. Do you? You do? I know that they have. What are they called? Eyeballs. Do they though? Yeah, they got like all these. So you don't even know if they have a high Wait, I wanted to... Okay. I do know this about butterflies. They have wings. They do have wings. That's the only anatomy about a butterfly and that the wing. I know. The wing. Wing. Planes have wings. There's something on the wing of the plane. There's something on the wing of the butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> There's something on the wing of the butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's funny. I like that. It'd be like a bug's so, life, right? It would be, yeah. <laughs> it's a, like a stupid play they're making in the background. <laughs> That's a that's a one time joke from Family Guy they cut away to. Oh yeah, uh, Peter, you you remember the you remember the, the time uh yeah. you were an insect Peter. Peter, you remember the time you uh, watched <laughs> that crossover between Disney and Twilight Zone? <laughs> oh yeah, they own that too. <laughs> oh no, it'd be like you remember when uh Disney bought Twilight Zone? <laughs> You're like yeah, 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 they only had one season. <laughs> and then it goes because of that. <laughs> so Ooh, annoying, but <laughs> are you fat man this is worth the time that Disney bought Twilight Zone <laughs> <laughs> it would be that yeah that would be yeah. we could write for Family Guy honestly uh, what's what's his name uh, the creator of Family Guy uh, Satan <laughs> hey, yo, Satan, hit us up. <laughs> no, what's his name? Me uh, at a crossroads. <laughs> He's just there. So you guys got, we got, you got a. Uh, you want to take over my me? my baby, huh? <laughs> he says it like yeah, that. Yeah, he goes up to you like that's that's so like yeah they do something. <laughs> Some real Satan. -y. There's something that yeah, uh, someone would say. You, so you want to take care of a baby? You want to take care of a baby? Huh? <laughs> Gotta be honest, I uh, started this the show from nothing. But <laughs> got through 26 Rope. pitches before you know Fox took it over. So <laughs> <laughs> actually, it was in it was in production before <laughs> The Simpsons. So <laughs> you can imagine my chagrin. My chagrin. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> so dumb. He's just sitting in like he's wearing glasses. <laughs> but uh, his glasses are like pitch black. You, know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. you can't see his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he had to meet him at a crossroads. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I want to. I was going to say Greed Inferno. Hey, Arnold. Oh, God. It'd we're be, going it'd, back. It'd be what's it called? Oh. That was my last words. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get that on screen? That's the last thing I said. <laughs> yeah, I put those quotations, you know, where it says like, uh, you know, like hey, Arnold Green Inferno. Yeah, it's, yeah, it comes it's up. by Angel Delgado. It's got your your death date. Is the quote? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna say hey, Arnold Green Inferno. <laughs> but uh, it'd be ironic because Helga would be turned into a, uh, you know, a shrine. And she always made shrines. <laughs> oh, that's true, huh? The movie would end where Helga is turned into a disembodied shrine. I like that, and actually. Then, and then Arnold just looks at it in amazement and smiles. <laughs> he smiles. He goes, yeah, she it, got what she wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'd be like the ending of Midsommar. Ugh. He just looks at it and he looks terrified and then he just smiles at the end. You're like, what does that mean? <laughs> What's the symbolism here? He's like, did he like it? Is he crazy now? 
Which in Midsummer, yes. A mate. That's the answer. That's the answer to your question. If you're asking if she's crazy, yes. She's lost it by that point, right? Yeah. She you know, you one. know how old that girl? Her name's Florence Poog. Poog? <laughs> it's Pug or Poog. Is it actually P-U-G? I think it's P-U-G-Y-H. P-U-G. Oh, what? It's Poog. 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 I knew a guy named Aaron Puga. <laughs> he, he was like, he had That's like red hair. He looked like Ed Sheeran. I shouldn't laugh hey, at that. That's a normal quick, name. Quick shout out to Aaron Puga. <laughs> hey, Aaron Puga, if you Puga. ever watch this. I'm Which sorry. I, I'm so, I, I doubt that you would, but... Uh, I thought he, uh, what's it called? I thought he was flirting <laughs> with my girlfriend at the time. <laughs> but, you know, she was crazy. Aaron Puga, you better watch yourself. All right? No, don't. don't. Watch where you're stepping, Aaron. I'm glad that you did. We got you. we got your social, and I'm going to die. <laughs> We're going to dox him. We're going to dox you, Aaron Puga. This is the last words. This is your last words. This is I'm gonna dox you. Put that on screen. Last I'm words. Gonna I'm gonna get doxed by these dogs. You're gonna die. They're gonna dox my soul. Oh, <laughs> you, wow. <laughs> Round seven. Uh, Where, we, what what's we worse about whenever we lose is that it's on record. <laughs> what? <laughs> like oh. people can look back and be like, "Wow, these guys suck." What's, well, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> but to be fair, like um. Okay. <laughs> All right. You're just going to ring. That's fine. That's, uh, that's Aaron Puga. I got, I got. <laughs> Aaron Puga says, bring it. I got Shine Savior Seji. They favorited uh, an image I made on DeviantArt. DeviantArt. I, dude. Oh, from is that time... that one you made of Atreus with boobs? <laughs> Put that up on screen. From God of War. Just kidding. There's nothing on. Oh, that bad ending. Okay. It was back when I was being real edgy. I drew a picture of, of, of Fusion killing all of the oh. cast of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Mm. And then I put my friend Omar, his little character, Soltyke the Hedgehog. You Shout out it. to Omar Baeza. He's in the corner. Oh, that's his, there's, that's his personal. There's a bunch of dead hedgehogs here. Yeah, I drew a lot of dead hedgehogs. I'll put it up on screen now. <laughs> <laughs> I used oh. to like the real edgy. It was like, aha, uh -huh. the joke is the punchline is that Sonic dies. I still hear your voice when you sleep next to me. I still feel your oh touch my in God. my dreams. 